Welcome everyone. This is our second time working together. I'm so honored to have my beautiful fellow healer and teacher and breathwork facilitator, Denise Keenan. She's from the Midwest. I'm here in San Diego um, coming together to, to offer up this beautiful healing breathwork for trauma release. And um, before the recording, I, I reminded people, whether you call it trauma, some people don't like that word. So whether you call it anxiety, depression, um, you know, just struggling to get through the holidays, maybe you lost a loved one, maybe you're just fresh off some kind of loss or grief, or you already are a practicing breathwork um, participant and you're just like, hey, <laughs> I could never have too much breathwork in my life, right? We, we just want to welcome you, um, whatever your intention is for being here. Uh, I'll share with you a little bit um, quickly about myself. We're going to set the stage for the breathwork. Then I'm going to turn it over to Denise. And at the end, um, we're also going to have like a closing guided chakra clearing and cleansing visualization, kind of like closing prayer. Okay. So at most, this may be 35 minutes, give or take. Um, we never know where the spirit might lead us. So um, I am a spiritual teacher and healer. Uh, I am in the consciousness space. I do a lot of healing of the mind through physical and spiritual work with plant medicines, combo frog medicine, as well as a lot of other health and fitness and nutrition modalities for my clients and breathwork came into my life at a very crucial time. Uh, and I met Denise this year and just really uh, blown away by her 30 years of experience in breathwork. Okay. I, I don't know anyone else that has been doing this as long as she has. So I wanted to highlight her. Normally, this is not a free class. Normally this is inside of my microdosing community. Um, but I wanted to bring this out there because the holidays can be a, a tough time. And so what I invite you to do before we dive in and I turn it over to Denise is let's just go ahead and, and, and grab a candle. If you can find your candle, make sure you're distraction free. You can be seated or lying down for this. Don't be driving. Of course, I think Denise will go into more do's and don'ts. Um, light some incense if you want. Uh, I always like to bring a couple of the elements in. Um, but if you, if you can grab those things, if not, that's fine. I would invite you now to just quickly close your eyes. Let's get grounded here just for a second. First, just kind of tuning in with your breath, landing here in this class in this time, be present here now. Noticing if your belly is rising or your chest is rising or if your breath is still shallow from maybe the end of a crazy work day, maybe you came down with a cold, whatever it is, just try to breathe in deeper through the belly and the chest, preparing you for Denise's work. Let's go ahead and on my command, just you're gonna inhale through the nose and do a four count inhale. Go ahead, inhale now one, through the nose two, Belly expanding three, chest expanding four. Hold at the top, suspending the breath for a second. Sip in a little more air with the straw through the mouth. And sigh it out through the mouth. <sighs> And then just do one more. Maybe you're just joining us. Go ahead, jump in or breathe in. Inhale through the nose. Go ahead, inhale. Deepest inhale of the day. Inhaling as much love and light as you can. Pausing when you get to the top. Suspend the breath for a split second and then sip in more with the straw through the mouth. And let it all go. <sighs> Go ahead and open your eyes. And if you lit a candle, if not, just have like a candle in your mind's eye. I'm going to just quickly help you set an intention, knowing that this is a holiday trauma release or grief release or anxiety, whatever that brought you here today. What is it that you want to release? And what is it that you want to call in? So go ahead and speak it out loud. No one's going to hear you unless you're surrounded by people. You're all on mute. We can't hear you. But collective intentions are powerful. More can come through for all of us if we set an intention. So go ahead. I'll give you a couple moments of silence. What do you want to release? What do you want to call in by attending this class today?
Excellent. So now without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to you, Denise, all of you guys feel free to, to open your eyes. And Denise, of course, I already said 30 years in breath work, amazing healer, a great facilitator of healing for others. So take it away, Denise. Okay. Thank you, Magdalena. And welcome, everyone. I'm so glad you're here. Um, there's nothing I love to do more than share breath work with people. And it seems like during this holiday season, it's a time of a lot of heightened emotions and sensations in our lives. You know, many times we're just excited about the holidays and other people are more depressed about them or disappointed in them. There are a lot of feelings that just seem to float to the surface during this time. So breath work is the perfect way to deal with those feelings in your body. And we talked a little bit about trauma and grief and all of the emotions, and they are all stored in our body and in our energy fields and in our psyche. So the breath is a fantastic transformational tool to transform these feelings from heavy, dense, sticky, old patterns of thinking and belief systems that do not serve us anymore into totally new, shiny possibilities to open up to potential that we haven't even conceived of. So I'd like to allow you and invite you all to let that be one of the outcomes is so that you can become more you can have a more expanded energy field a higher consciousness so that you can really see your world differently really have a different perception of this life and allow yourself to start to create from this deep space inside of you the other thing that we're celebrating tonight is that it's almost solstice and so on Thursday, I think it's about nine o'clock in the evening here, but I'm not exactly sure. It'll be winter solstice, which is the darkest time of the year. So it's the shortest day of the year. There's more darkness and less light than any other time of the year. So this is our opportunity just to dive into that deep, rich darkness that's kind of mucky uh, moistness that's deep within us and to just transform that and to prepare for the light that's starting to come in. And of course, with the Christmas season, there's so much around the light with that too. And depending on what your beliefs are, there are other Hanukkah, all the things that are going on this time of year are about the light awakening. So let's kind of uh, look at that possibility. So the breath is a, such an important tool, really the benefits. I know there are a few people here that this is their first experience with doing breath work. So I want to just give a brief um, synopsis of what it does and how, how we're going to proceed. So it helps to lower blood pressure. It reduces anxiety. It really takes you into a state of deep relaxation. And there's some recent interesting research that indicates that the size of the lungs determine your lifespan. So that's pretty exciting. If we get our lungs healthy with breath work, we're benefiting every part of our body. Of course, better breath, better lungs will enhance sports performance, your ability to speak in public, you know, just enhance all of your performances. There's also new evidence that indicates that it, it helps with ADD. And the main theme for me though, right tonight is to dissolve resistance, all those negative emotions. And as that happens, when we start to be more expansive and have a higher frequency energy traveling through us, we also become more creative. And that's what I find when I do my own private breath sessions, which I do often is I might be feeling stuck about something and I'll just lie down and breathe and I'll start to get all of these ideas and, the, and these creative, these creations that come up in my mind. So we start to accept all of who we are when we take the breath work. We're transforming old emotions, and then we're also freeing ourselves to let these authentic parts of ourselves float up to the surface. We can experience an altered state, higher frequency consciousness. And you know, many of you probably on here already believe this, that humankind, humanity is on the brink of an evolution that we are evolving into a different species, into a higher frequency being, into a new wave of consciousness. And the power of group breath work in this can't be underestimated because the breath connects us all. It connects the trees. You know, the wind that blows across the planet is the breath. The breath we're breathing right now might be the same breath that your dog breathed a few minutes ago. So we are highly connected by the breath. So we're taking our own little journey, but we're also working together to evolve consciousness and just heal the world in a lot of ways. So we're going to start with the breath work in just a few moments, but I want to talk a little bit about how to do it. First of all, you can either sit upright and just breathe. I mean, it'll only be about 20 minutes, or you can lie down on your back and breathe. 
In that case, I would suggest that you don't have a big pillow under your head. If you need one, make it very small because you want your throat very open. And also you might wanna raise your legs and put a bolster under them if that's more comfortable. So then I'm going to instruct you how to breathe for a little bit and then we'll put some music on and you'll breathe to the music. And the music is specifically planned to help you to relax and also to get the energy moving in your body. So you may have experiences such as feeling warm or feeling cool, or you might feel some tingling in your hands or your feet. Sometimes when people are breathing for a while, they start to get a lot of tingling in their hands and they'll also start to feel a little bit of tension in their hands. It can uh, really let them start to seize up like this occasionally. If that does happen, it's kind of unlikely because this is a shorter session, but if it does, it's perfectly safe. And part of that is because there's, there's some of the heavy energies are leaving through your hands. And in that case, you can always just flex them a little or pound them with your fist like you're a little kid having a tantrum, or you can just slow your breathing down. Now, I'm going to suggest a breath today that's a three-part breath. So we're going to be breathing into the belly with the first is two inhalations and an exhalation. So breathing into the belly with the first inhalation and then into the chest with the second exhalation and then totally collapsing on the exhalation. So it'll look like this. So I'm breathing into my belly. <gasps> and then my chest, and then really letting go. So you're breathing in through those emotions, through those sensations, through the feelings in your body, and even through your thoughts, you're breathing them in so that you're not resisting any part of you. And then you're really letting it go on that exhalation. Because there are parts of us that want to be recognized, that are hidden inside of us, that just want to be looked at for a moment. Some of them just need to be looked at and let go, and others you're breathing in and enhancing even more of them within you. And the beauty of this is that your breath knows exactly how to do this. You don't have to worry about what's happening. Your breath is doing it for you. And your breath is your connection to the divine, to the great creator, whatever your concept of that is. It's really like our umbilical cord. You know, we come in on the first breath and we leave on the last breath. And in between the breath is always there for us. You can trust the breath. You can believe in the breath. So I'm inviting you to start to form a new relationship with your breath, to really honor it, to really be filled with gratitude for it because we take it so for granted and we just let it breathe us, which it does all day long. But when we start paying attention to the breath, it will reward us tenfold. If you start paying more attention to your breath and just taking a little time in the morning to take maybe five conscious breaths or five minutes or 10 minutes of just sitting quietly and watching your breath and breathing consciously and possibly the same thing later in the day or before bed, your breath will start to be more evident in your life. What you'll find is you'll get a thought that goes, oh, am I breathing? You know, have I taken a deep breath lately? And then you take a conscious breath because your breath is working unconsciously for you all day long. That's another beautiful aspect of the breath is that it, it is connecting our conscious and our subconscious which also includes our super conscious. So we're really connecting with our soul and our energy fields and our emotions and our psyche, as well as our body with the breath. And we don't even have to know what's happening. Just keep putting your attention back to the breath. So we're going to get started in just a moment. I wanted to tell you that there are some contraindications for people. You know, if you are having any of these issues, um, then please just breathe very gently and maybe just breathe through your nose. And that would be if you're pregnant, if you have cardiovascular conditions, high blood pressure, glaucoma, epilepsy, um, serious health issues, recent injuries or surgeries, any psychosis that's been recently active. If anything like that is happening for you, I invite you still to join us, but to just breathe gently, probably through your nose rather than through your mouth and to not try to do copious amounts, but just let the breath move and know that the power of the group is still helping you, but just do what's comfortable for you. And also really connect with that intention, as Magdalena just mentioned, really set that when we begin, set your intention. And I'm going to be directing you through the three-part breath that I just mentioned, but I also invite you to do what feels right for you. We're going to be doing this through the mouth, two breaths in and one breath out. But if you feel uncomfortable with that, it's just fine to breathe through the nose for the inhalation and then the exhalation in the mouth. And later on, the breath might get a little bit more vigorous. You might want to breathe more. And then you could just start breathing. <sighs> 
in, instead of the three-part breath. So whatever your body is guiding you to do, just listen to it, just honor it, and just allow the breath to take you on this beautiful journey that we're going to travel on together. <clears throat> Excuse me. So for just for now, just start to notice your breath. I have to take a little sip of water. So just close your eyes and connect with your breath. Notice what your breath is feeling like. Notice the rhythm and the flow of your breath. Just what does your breath look like? We have a very individual breath pattern. Every one of us, just like our fingerprints, our breath has a pattern to it that is in that's put into our lungs on that first breath after we're born. So just be aware for just a moment. Just be curious about your breath. What does it look like? How does it feel? How does it feel as it comes in the nostrils? And then when you breathe out, you might notice that it's been warmed by your body. So just for a moment, noticing your breath, inviting your breath to connect with you, to play with you, to take this journey with you. And then just for a moment, expressing immense gratitude for this breath that's always there for you, that's your best friend, your wise teacher, your miracle worker, your shaman, your breath. And then let's start doing the breath through the mouth, breathing first into the belly and then into the chest and then exhaling. So just like this. So go ahead and start just breathing that way. And I'm going to start music in just a moment. But while you're breathing... I'd like you for a moment to think about relaxing the palms of your hands while you breathe. The more relaxed you can be, the more breath can move through your system. So breathing, relaxing the palms of your hands, relaxing the soles of your feet, relaxing the four corners of your eyes, the inside corners, the outside corners, and then the whole eye will relax. Relaxing the area inside and around your ears. Relaxing, resting deeply. Letting your throat and your tongue now rest and relax. And then relaxing your whole pelvic organ, your hips, your lower belly, your pelvis. And as you continue breathing, let all of those relaxed, rested areas connect up with each other so that everything in between is also getting soft and pliable and the breath can move through. I'm going to start the music and I'll be talking sometimes, but just go ahead and follow your breath pattern. <sighs> the love to your body. Feel the compassion emanating from your heart. Breathe. any sense of unworthiness, let go of any heavy emotions or trauma that you're carrying, let the breath carry it away.
mind. Release any excess emotion, any excess sensations in your body that don't serve anymore. body. Breathe in through the top of your head, through your crown chakra, and breathe all the way down into the earth, through the soles of your feet. Feel that connection between heaven and earth. You are that connection. Relax. Exhale your stress, any discomfort, any disharmony in your life, in your body, right down into the earth. your body and your mind relax and then your thoughts can reach to your higher consciousness keep breathing your hands and your feet, your ears, your eyes, your tongue, your throat, your chest, 
your pelvis and breathe. Keep softening. with your whole body, with your mind, with your spirit, with your soul. Feel the love in the breath. Let it love you. Surrender to the breath. breath moving for a moment and now I'd like you all to laugh out loud I'll laugh with you let it be your biggest fake Hollywood actor laugh that you can possibly do just let go and laugh <laughs> and now go back to breathing Feel that endorphin, that oxytocin release that the laughter breathes on. Let yourself go right back into your breath, softening your body, going deeper, allowing the breath to breathe you, feeling the softness, feeling the compassion for your body, loving yourself, releasing anything that doesn't fit into that equation, letting go, breathing it out, breathing in light, breathing out any heaviness, any stickiness, any outmoded, outdated belief systems or patterns of thinking, anything from past lives, any karmic ties that don't serve anymore, let them all go on that exhalation.
keep the breath moving. Love yourself. Breathe in the love. Feel this beautiful music resonating through your body. Soften. Surrender. Breathe. Just breathe. Feel yourself. And then let go. Let go. Soften your body, your hands, your feet, your face, your chest, your throat, your pelvis, every part of you. The softer and more relaxed you are, the more breath and energy you receive. Shed the old patterns of feeling, the emotions, the sensations. Shed them all like you were a snake shedding its skin. Just let go, free yourself. Open up to freedom, to magnificence. Let yourself blossom. deep inside into the rich darkness within and let the light start to permeate your being. Let go on that exhalation. Dissolve any tension in your nervous system. Let it go. been carrying that you want to release now is your time to let it go
with the love in. Feel the love blossoming and blooming inside of you. Loving yourself, all the parts. Loving the wounds, the scars, every part of you. Soften the breath. Go ahead and close your mouth and start to breathe through your nose and soften your breath. Feel your body relax, soft. Let it rest. Let your mind rest. Feel yourself letting go of any excess of thoughts, emotions, feelings, any excess energy you've been carrying, any old patterns, any old programming, any ideas that aren't yours anymore. They don't fit you anymore. Let them go. And now imagine that above your head, about three hand widths above your head, you can breathe in from that chakra. Breathe in a deep breath all the way in from your soul star. Breathe it into your body. Breathe it all the way down into the tips of your toes, letting go, exhaling. Now this breath work, especially in a group like this with such high intentions, is a very transformational practice. And I really recommend that you practice intentional self-care for the next few days, really drinking water, doing things that feel good for you, eating good healthy food, grounding foods, healthy high frequency foods. And think about how we're in these dark days of the winter and soon the light will start building within us. That the dark is very rich and healing and very much a part of us too. Just take a few more deep, full breaths as you relax. You might feel some tingling in your body. You might be feeling more alive, more open, more free. On the other hand, sometimes breath work brings up raw emotions that's happened for you, then acknowledge that, breathe through them, welcome them, release them. It's a gift to be able to recognize things you've been holding on to that are now free to be released, to be transformed. So just a few more deep, full breaths. Really notice how your body feels. Notice how your breath is moving. Perhaps it's feeling more deep, more light, more free, more dense than when we started. Notice how much more awareness you have of yourself. Thank you all for sharing this experience. I'm going to turn it back over to you, Magdalena. Yay, beautiful. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. (laughs) Welcome back. Uh, I wanted to close just with a a little bit of a a guided visualization, since we also have the holiday, like the grief theme, the the chakras, you know, she already opened you up and then the physical cleansing, I wanted to close and ground you a little bit more into your bodies and also have kind of like a closing prayer. So um, I know you're you're just still coming back, or maybe this is actually the perfect moment. If you haven't opened your eyes, keep them closed. If you have, open them. If you don't mind just staying put for like another four-ish minutes, and then we'll be done. So go ahead, keep your eyes closed, relaxing. 
being able to start to feel as if there are two cords attached to the soles of your feet, regardless if you're seated and your feet are planted on the ground or if you're lying down and your feet are horizontal, that's perfect to stay put and just imagine those cords are coming from the soles of your feet going down into Mother Earth, Pachamama, guiding down into the center of the earth, the core, the crystalline grid with the crystal center with a lot of pure source light energy. I want you to see a ball of light in the center of the earth, fueling those two cords that came from the soles of your feet and almost like a firecracker. When you see someone light a firecracker, um, you're, you're seeing that energy from that ball in the center of the earth coming up through those two cords into your feet, through your ankles, through your calves, your shins, through your knees, into your thighs, your quads, just cleansing and purifying, releasing any free radicals or anything that may have been broken up inside of you during this breath work. Going through your root chakra, Noticing that now this light, this pure source light energy has turned into a ball, a ball that's beautiful, perfectly circular, filled with this energy swirling around through your root chakra, cleansing and clearing away any fear, free radicals, anything that may have come up for you during that breath work. It's just cleansing it, purifying, grounding you ever more deeply into your truth, into the earth, feeling held, feeling supported. Then I want you to see that ball of pure source light energy going up into your sacral chakra, cleansing and clearing away any shame, any sexual traumas, any shutting down of your creativity, of your sensuality, however it is that you create. Also cleansing and clearing away so that you can be more creative, opening to receive abundance in your life, financial abundance, relationship abundance. Then see that ball going up into your sternum area, your solar plexus, cleansing, a, clearing away any, any shame, allowing you to stand or be seated in your position if you're seated or when you do stand, noticing that you feel more power in your solar plexus coming from your truth, standing in your power, calling your power back from all time and all places empowering you so you don't give your power away through this holiday season, feeling strong, feeling courageous. Then notice the ball going up into your heart chakra area and notice the color changes into a beautiful green, cleansing and clearing away any grief, any sorrow, any sadness that may have come up during this breath work, eradicating that and can totally transmuting it into compassion, self-love, forgiveness. Again, allowing all the, the grief to just transmute and soften. Then the ball returning back to pure source light energy, going through your high heart chest, up into your throat chakra, cleansing and clearing any lies, mistruths that may have been broken up through this breath work, allowing you to breathe more deeply, allowing you to speak your truth, allowing you to sing, to scream, to shout, to speak more loving kindness words to yourself and others through this holiday week ahead, through the end of 2023, letting that all go that no longer serves you. And now the ball of pure source light energy still flowing, vibrant, swirling around is going up into your third eye, cleansing and clearing any illusion or disillusionment that you've been feeling, any blockages that have been suppressing your third eye, your intuition, noticing that you trust your intuition. You can see clearly now, be able to expand your consciousness through that clarity of vision, clarity of purpose, clarity of next steps, direction in your life. And finally, the ball lands into your crown chakra, opening beautifully, releasing, uh, wiping away any attachments to the way things were, way things should be, any judgments of yourself in your mind, quieting the ego, opening up to divine source, creator, any messages, 
from the great beyond that are divinely inspired for you through this holiday season, this beautiful ending of the darkest night coming soon into more light. May you think clearly, receive those messages so that you can take informed action. Noticing now the ball is picking up steam and it's gonna go from your crown down through your third eye, through your throat, through your, your heart, your solar plexus, again, clearing away any residue any free radicals, any blockages, and going down through your legs, back into those cords, through your feet, all the way down, Pachamama, Mother Earth receives your cleansing, your purging, your releasing with love and gratitude. And just sit there for a moment, just reveling in how clean and clear you feel with this breath work, with this guided visualization, knowing you can come back to the recording and do this every day, putting your oxygen mask on first. Go ahead now and take a nice final deep inhale through the nose, inhale deeply, go ahead, inhale one, two, three, four, Hold at the top. Sip in a little more air if you can. And then just sigh it all out one last time. <sighs> and go ahead and put your left hand on your heart, just acknowledging your beautiful healing. You are your own healer. When given the right tools and remembering to use them, you can heal your life. You can work through these holiday challenges and really own your truth, keeping your power intact. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and open your eyes. Come back to us if you haven't already. And beautiful. Thank you, Denise, for oh, thank your you. She dropped her contact info in the chat if you want to grab it or just know that I'm going to put it in the YouTube channel. May you guys have so much peace this week. We hope this was a, a gift to you. If, if you have the ability, because I know what it's like when you're done with breath work. <laughs> if you have the ability, just type one word in the chat. Let us know how you feel or how was that experience for you before we close. Maybe how you're feeling, what you're noticing, what you released. Yay, wonderful Rose, so much release, beautiful. I'll actually drop in, you're so welcome. I'll drop in the chat right now really quickly, my YouTube channel. So if you're not already a subscriber um, by tomorrow, um, it probably won't happen tonight. Uh, but by tomorrow, I will have my, um, uh, this This is going to be inside of my YouTube channel. So um, bear with me one second so I can share this with you. There you go. So if you aren't already a subscriber, please do subscribe right now. If I can drop it in and it's not letting me. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Actually, what you can do is um, you can go to my link tree and um, or go to my website, microdosingforhealth.com. I'm not sure why. Or just look for, oh, there it is. Third time's a charm. So go ahead, click on the link, subscribe, and I'll have this video inside by tomorrow. Any closing thoughts, Denise? No, I just feel so peaceful and light. And I feel like this time of year with what's happening with the solstice and the the holiday season has just been a very powerful time to gather together and empower each other and ourselves and to release anything that doesn't serve us anymore. So thank you for providing this platform to do so and for your beautiful prayer and guided meditation. My pleasure. My pleasure, guys. Go ahead and um, do this again and, and take an aligned action. You know, what maybe came up for you today that was a message that you received or even just doing this again is a great way to just further the healing process and to build that emotional intelligence to 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 get through this season and all of the things. So, all right. Have a beautiful rest of your day, guys, and happy uh, happy new year. Bye-bye for now.